You know, I grew up on a farm much the same size with the same type of crops up in Kentucky. So it's just very special to me. I love driving into work in the morning and seeing someone out on a tractor or a combine. And um, I think even more so today as uh, the development starts to come in to the Spring Hill area and change the, change the landscape, I think the, uh, the contrast when you're driving down 31 here of the GM facility is just absolutely beautiful. I think it very, very much stands out. It's a, a, very, a very good testament to General Motors' commitment to not only the environment, but the culture and the heritage in the area. As far as I know, to my knowledge, we are the only working farm uh, in General Motors Corporation. So it's a little known fact. A lot of folks that come to visit us aren't even aware of it. Everybody thinks it's great once they hear about it. I have about 650 this year, 650 acres. And I've got uh, 240 acres of corn and about 250 acres of beans out already. And then whenever I get this 160 acres of wheat cut, I'll turn right back around and plant it in late soybeans. That's all I've ever done. I grew up on a farm. My family's always farmed, so this is all I've ever, ever really done. Yeah, I mean, I still try to do it like it was my own. You try to keep up and, and get the best prices and work it like it was your own. Try not to spend too much here and, and do the right thing. What better statement to, uh, you know, to General Motors and what we stand for environmentally than what we're able to show here to the, to the community uh, with growing food that will ultimately people will eat uh, right here on our site. I mean, we're taking uh, very good farmland and making use of it and, you know, especially in today's times, uh, the production of food and corn, wheat, beans, you know, it's just very important to our overall economy and to what we stand for as Americans. So far, if it just doesn't quit raining, we keep keeping the rain a little along, it'll be, it'll be all right. I think it goes to the very core of respect. I think it goes to the core of respect for the people that were already living in the community when we moved into the area. And again, that's evident in just the way that we built the site to where you can really drive by, especially with the corn up as high as it is this time of year. You can drive by the site and if you didn't know it, you might go right by it and not even know there was an automotive manufacturing facility here. So respect for the folks that have lived here ever since they've been born. Also, I think a respect for folks that are moving into the area. I mean, this is a wonderful place to, um, to move, to work, live, and raise a family. And certainly there has to be some um, you know, concern and thought in how to protect that, those things that we, you know, that we really love and value in, in where we live. Mm -hmm.